Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. I have the journey of love with me that's starting to flick over with the uh, um, with the wind and then the music's gone up. It's like a party in the park, just um, to my side. <laughs> oh, not sure what that was about. Anyway, good morning guys. I'm here to bring you a message from the journey of love. Let me have a flick through this book and see whereabouts I want to stop. The Cosmic Butterfly. You are being reborn from the pulsating womb of the Divine Mother, on fire with her creative power. You are being transformed whilst living. Ah, the resurrection. To surrender certainty in favour of openness, to accept the smallness of your everyday life, whilst admitting to the magnificence of your being, to bring up to the divine light that pours through you, to bring up, it says to open up, to the divine light that pours through you into a myriad of forms, endlessly creating, destroying, creating again. This is your sacred task. Life is thriving within you. This may not feel stable as yet, but will certainly feel exciting as you enter into yet another cycle of rebirth. Let this life seem as though you are living many lifetimes in one. It is possible for you to encounter the totality of human experience in this lifetime, should you be open to it. Let me repeat that. Let this life seem as though you are living many lifetimes in one. It is possible for you to encounter the totality of human experience in this lifetime should you be open to it. This is treading the enlightened path, embracing all of life. You have chosen this for yourself and been blessed with it as a possibility this lifetime. Why not let yourself be broken down and reborn through the workings of nature? Another life within this one beckons you on now. The message for you from this oracle is that if you if your life feels like it is falling apart, then take heart, for it is falling apart to come back together in a new way. You are going through rebirth, just like a butterfly in a chrysalis. The agony and the delight, the sense of dying and being truly alive, can all be held in the serene space of your heart. Surrender into what you are becoming now, and know that you are leaving behind, and know that what you are leaving behind is but a shell that once will have held your fast emerging new self. Your fast emerging new self. Here's the poem. The breeze of the butterfly wings caresses the stillness of my thoughts and awakens feelings that course through my veins like the whale's song to the ocean's depths. There wells in me a knowing and a wonder for what is yet to be. Do you have one more message? Let's have one more message. The Void. At the ending of every cycle and the beginning of every cycle, there is a moment of transition. It may last for any amount of time. <laughs> Sorry, but there's a man going for a toilet, a wee wee, um, in the bushes so I can just opposite me. <laughs> Okay, at the ending of every cycle and the beginning of every cycle, there is a moment of transition. It may last for any amount of time, a moment of feeling, or many years of deep inner work whilst feeling displaced. The transition may require patience to endure the absence of knowing, the lack of certainty about who you are and why you are here on this planet. A void may open up between one moment of meeting with your lover and the seemingly endless stretch of time, even if it is only days, that seem as though they are inter eternal in duration as you wait to reconnect again. Yet, if you can accept that entry into the cosmic void as preparation for your next cycle of manifestation, if you can accept that darkness is holding you with love, not with unfeelingness, then you can relax and let the preparation be what it must be. Then you can be well equipped for the next steps forward on your glorious divine adventure this lifetime, 
meeting the beloved, whether divine or human lover, in a fresh, new moment, excited, open, and curious always. This oracle brings you guidance. There are parts of your own process unfolding that you simply cannot know about yet. It will not always be this way, but for now, it is most helpful for you to only deal with what is immediately before you. All else will be shown when the time is right. There is growing to be done, and then the void will bring forth the next step on your path to meet you. You do not have to worry, and you do not have to search. Be present, be patient. When you can do something, do it. When you cannot, just be. Your time will soon come. If you are holding a question about relationship, surrender it into the void and let it become what it must be according to spiritual wisdom and love. Okay, on this Easter Monday, let's um, finish with this poem. A coming together, a blending of one, where understanding spans the space between and separation disappears to form a new. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. How are we feeling? And I'm feeling good. Okay, guys, I'm not sure if the camera's in focus. It looks to me like the trees are a little bit below me, but it is what it is. Okay, guys, I will catch up with you soon when she just picked up again. Until then, take care, much love. Bye for now.